just discussing whether it's doable, whether it's a doable hike with kids. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Like, yeah, Bella will just put in the harness and she'll be all right. Yeah. But, uh, if Charlie can manage to do it, yeah. he likes running up and down and climbing stuff, so it she'll does. be all right. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Really it nice. Look. See people hiking up it. Maybe tomorrow's activity. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, tomorrow morning could be good, I think. Could be good. Yeah, so we've uh, we've parked Sunny up at a campsite, a little campsite if you can call it that, and uh, we're just heading down into the town. We are, I don't know, about 60 or 70 kilometers north of Madrid, I think. Yeah, just in a really little remote area, quite high up in the mountains, I think. We drove up and down and pretty much everywhere on the way here, haven't we? Yeah. It's been it's, really nice and like mountainous Yeah, roads. it's incredible. We were saying on the way here, because like one minute is like mountains everywhere and it's like so such like scenery and amazing like views and everything yeah and then the next minute you're like completely flat yeah and we weren't originally gonna drive this way like we weren't gonna get so close to madrid sort of thing but i'm really glad we did because it was a really stunning drive wasn't it yeah it, it was amazing well even this place like it's just a tiny little campsite and it's not much there, but the views are amazing. They right? are, yeah. It's a shame that you can't like catch it on camera properly. It's hard to catch because the mountains are so far in the distance yeah. a lot of the time. You can't really see much, but it's uh, take our word for it. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful little town this is it's so it? cute proper spanish yeah yeah this sort of thing that we were saying that you'd miss this don't you with just traveling like straight to a place yeah exactly yeah it's well cute <laughs> so what's this it's like feels like authentic spain this does doesn't it yeah it's, it's so cute yeah it's nice let's see if we can find uh, some ice cream for the kids yeah we promised them ice cream yesterday but they didn't have it in the little shop that we where we were parked yesterday. No. But I just saw somebody walking around with ice cream, so hopefully we'll see. we're gonna find it. We'll see. It smells like holiday. It it smells is. like paella. Yeah. No, I don't know what it's it smells like. It smells smell, like smell, hasn't it? I don't know. Yeah. It smells like spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. Was it good ice cream, Charlie? Yeah. What flavour did you have? Um, strawberry. Strawberry. Do you Bella. remember how we asked for it? No. no. We had to speak Spanish, didn't we? Because she didn't yeah. speak English, did she? No. What did Papa say? Can you remember? Hasta <laughs> <laughs> Almost. We were just saying that uh, on our way here, you know, whenever you stop at a cafe or whatever with people sitting on their phones, they're actually sit sitting socialising, but they're not. They're just sitting on their phones. And it's sort of like, I don't know, we were just sort of discussing it and that it's it's just everywhere. But here, we're in this little Spanish town and we've walked down the street and uh, there's people all sort of sat outside the bars and cafes and having a little drink and stuff. It's like Sunday afternoon. Not a single phone. You see people, yeah, socialising, having a laugh, <laughs> chatting. And it's, it's so, so obvious, isn't it? It's been yeah. a massive, like, such a stark contrast. Yeah. We're in sort of just like a little random Spanish town and it's, uh, yeah, it's just a proper nice vibe here. Cool dude, freshly <laughs> showered this morning. Yeah. What are you, what are we up to today? Go up to the mountain. Going up a mountain. We're gonna <laughs> and go... I got some stones. And you've got some stones. Yeah. A bit of extra <laughs> weight. For good training, isn't it that? It's some good training for me to run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can run two really fast. You can run really fast. You know how fast? How fast? Go on, show me. <laughs> Nice. What did Bella think? You're gonna go and climb up a mountain? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's super excited. Yeah, very. <laughs> yeah. Bella's yet a bit scared to run. She's a bit scared to run. Well, she's a bit tired and a bit. Yeah. Yeah. She'll she'll wake up when we get when we get that mountain fresh air, won't she? Yeah. You're ready to walk, aren't you? You've had yeah. a good long sleep today. Yeah, I could have a good young sleep. Perfect. <laughs> booby stones. Oh, that's not booby. These are stones. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Mansfield man. Silly Mansfield man. You're a silly Mansfield man. What? I'm not a silly Mansfield man. Oh, I'm a 
Yeah. You're a silly sausage man. Yeah. <laughs> Excited. Have you ever seen this? Bit of a challenge, this one. Super thin, super thin bridge, and water underneath. Oh, it's a challenge. I really hope it's on the bridge. Good job, mate. Excellent work. So you know how everybody said a couple of videos ago that uh, maybe I should rest a bit more? How's that going? Um, let's hike up a mountain with a baby on your back instead. <laughs> <laughs> you never listen, you don't. <laughs> She's all about challenging herself at Look least. <laughs> but she is also getting good at uh, taking a bit of time for herself. You've, uh, you've had a bit of rest in between adventures at least. So don't worry, I'm, uh, I'm taking care of her. But anybody that knows that one behind me knows that she's too stubborn to uh, to let a bit of tiredness uh, get in the way of her adventuring, climbing up mountains with a baby on her back and stuff. Not much you can do about it, is there? Bye. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's going straight on the Instagram, that is. <laughs> Hello. So far so good? So far so good. I'm so out of shape. I really, really need this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best way to get in shape. Bring your kids and go hiking. Yeah, Because you're not like running up as if it was just you and me. Yeah. We would try to walk like, you walk a lot faster and you, you don't run, but you walk fast. Yeah. And now we walk like a four year old. Yeah. And like I'm exhausted or not exhausted, but like out of breath and yeah. so unfit, but this is getting me back. In a good way. This yeah, is, exactly. This is tired, yeah. tiredness in a good way. Exactly. I'm right behind you, buddy. Three, two, one, go. Ho, 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 ho. Charlie, you're so fast. All right, gang. Stopped for a little uh, change of clothing because it was a bit warm. Sun, oh, sweating. Sun's starting to come out. Yeah. We're not used to this heat. <laughs> All the Spanish people is like walking around with big coats on and stuff and yeah. we're sweating. It's really funny, everybody looks at us like we're crazy. Yeah. Yesterday we had shorts and sandals on and everybody else was in like winter jackets yeah. almost like. Starting to get a little bit higher now, we've got a quite a nice view. We're hoping to get a good view over that little town that you can see just over there. That's where we were yesterday. And way off in the distance over there, there's a big mountain, like a really big mountain with snow on it and stuff. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. Really nice. This is a good idea. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. So Do you remember what the place is called? No. Buergos de Lasagna or something. I don't think it was Lasagna, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong country. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that far off, to be fair. Okay. Buitrago del Lozoya. Buitrago del Lozoya. That's where we are. Just a super random little little stopover find. And that's the beauty of these sort of adventures. You just sort of stop in random places. And it's, uh, it's really nice. Look at this, it's starting to get flat now. I think we're almost at the top. Yeah. What does that mean, Charlie? Coffee, coffee. Frosty coffee. Frosty coffee time. <laughs> Speaker time. Speaker time. Look at this, eh? Wow. Uh, do you want to do set? Wherever you want, mate. Where do you think? I think here. You think here? Look at that for a view, Charlie. How nice does that look? Looks so good. Yeah. All right, good spot for a little bit of morning coffee, that was. I think it's time to head back down. So uh, we'll see you at the bottom. So I get messages from people but also see it in like different groups that I'm in with people that got colostomies and I see it on cancer groups and basically everywhere where you can read about colostomies and ileostomies that people feel like it is the end of the world like life is ending because I'm getting a colostomy or a stoma in general you can't do what you used to do you can't be active you can't run you can't go out you can't travel you can't wear the same clothes you can make the list so long i see all kinds of reasons that people are terrified of getting a stoma and i have to admit that i was probably one of these people before i got my stoma i thought that it would be 
awful and I was scared and I didn't know what it meant and I was worried that it wasn't gonna work and you don't know what is it gonna do to me and my life and the lifestyle that I got and all of that. But now I found the right bags, I found the right stuff that I need, what works for me and my lifestyle. And I mean, I am traveling Europe in a van with a colostomy. If I can do this with two young kids and play, travel, swim, do everything that you do when you travel, then anybody can. I'm not an exception. Like, this is how you can make it work if you want to make it work. And I think it's important that you get this information out there that you can do anything you want, even if you got a stoma. I mean, it's not always easy. Let me show you the box that I got with all my stoma stuff. Ugh. So this is a 30 liter box, I think. 32 liter box. And it's full to the top with different kinds of stoma things. But that is supposed to last me for the whole time that we're here. So I packed for about five months, I think. So it should be more, more than enough, to be honest. And I mean, I change my bag in the smallest room in the van every day, and it's not a problem. It's just what you get used to and what you're willing to do to be able to get it work. And for me, it's not a problem at all. It's never been a problem. The only thing that changes is that I don't got running water in the bathroom. That's the only thing that I feel like I have to think about uh, differently to compared to when we lived in a house. But the actual living in a van with a colostomy and traveling Europe, not a problem at all. And I think that people need to be less scared of what you don't know because my life is 100% better now than it was before I got my stoma. I feel like I dare to go outside, I dare to go places. I can run with my kids, I can play with my kids and I couldn't do that before I got my stoma because I was sick and I couldn't live anywhere without a bathroom close by or I didn't dare to leave to go to the park because there was no toilet there and I didn't have the energy to do all of this but because of the stoma now I can so I really really think it's important to understand that it's only you who put the limits on like no matter if you got a stoma or not you can do whatever you want and maybe you have to change it a little bit but to be honest I don't feel like I've changed anything since I got my stoma if you think about traveling. The only thing is that you have to plan and make sure that you got enough stuff with you. And obviously you never know because some days you need to change the bag once and some days you need to change it three times. So you can never know exactly how much you need but then you just need to count on an average, what do you need and make sure that you got all of that. And that's why I got a massive fucking box. <laughs> a lot of the time I think it's a lot easier to live in a van with a colostomy than it is without, to be honest. I never have to think about using the toilet when everybody's sat around listening or eating breakfast or whatever. I never have to think about finding a toilet anywhere. I can change my bag wherever if I wanted to. In that way, I think I got it a lot easier than the rest of the family with their normal bumps. <laughs> so I think that people just have to find the right information and the right bags and the right stuff and then you're going to be able to do anything you want in life really no matter if it's going for a run going for a hike or traveling around Europe in a van um, you can do anything no matter a stoma or not ready ready Christened, officially, Sunny the Bus. <laughs> Woo! Looks Look great. at that, looks brilliant, doesn't it? Looks amazing. Well happy with that. Yeah. My birthday present, that was. Your birthday present, yeah, yeah. Designed by yours truly, with um, help from your uncle, who yeah. works at a printing place. Yeah. Looks amazing. Looks great, doesn't it? This will do, won't it, eh? Perfect. <laughs> 
It's not a bad spot for the night. No, it's amazing. Right on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Finally feels like summer. Yeah, in January. Yeah. Nah, it's February, February now. February today. Yeah. We're talking about me. <laughs> Everybody happy? Having a walk down the beach? Yeah. <laughs> First time ever for the kids to walk down one of these beaches. Yeah, I suppose it is, isn't it? Like a proper beach. Yeah. Just a Sweden beach. Not a Sweden <laughs> beach, yeah. Stunning drive on the way here. Oh, it's amazing. Driving through the, the mountains. And yeah, Sierra Nevada yeah. foothills. Insane. Yeah. It's amazing. like uh, we have the GoPro set up in the front. I'm sure you've seen some videos of it. Uh, it's absolutely full now completely full of just uh, beautiful scenery because I kept starting and stopping it every two minutes just because it was so nice. Stunning scenes and uh, now we're here. Look at this, eh? Palm trees. Palm trees. Wicked. <laughs> Is that a big one? Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's happy to be in the yeah. <laughs> coast. On the coast. You're right. Yeah. Emotional. Yeah, I can't believe that we're here that we <laughs> that we managed to do it. Bless you. Are you okay? I just feel thankful that we can do all of this as a family. Yeah. Like six months ago we didn't even know that we could travel again. Now. Like, I mean, look at the kids, how happy they are. <laughs> this makes me so happy that we can do stuff like this as a family and that we don't have to spend all our days in the hospital anymore. I know. This time, one year ago, you were still in the middle of your chemo. Yeah. Fully yeah. understand. Bless you. Happy days. Look at him. So happy. On that note, I think we'll leave it there for this yeah. week. <laughs> Thank happy, you. Happy ending this week. Yeah, very. Thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah. Don't Thank forget the, to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> All that stuff. Drop us a comment below if you've ever been to Spain, especially if you've ever been in the winter. If you got any uh, any tips? Any places we need to see? Anything we need to do? Yeah. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Bye.